Adobe Express is always adding new features, but it can be hard to keep up. So I'm gonna show you the 10 features that you don't wanna miss in Adobe Express. Let's get started. We're gonna have to start with my favorite absolute feature and it's the ability to create your own brand kit. When we design brand identities for our client, we always start with brand strategy, but then once we have finished developing the brand identity, I always make it a point to make sure that our clients can manage their brand by themselves. And so we use Adobe Express, for, we've actually used it for many, many years to help our clients manage their own content. So to create a brand kit, go to brands, click on brand, and it's gonna be fairly straightforward. We're gonna give it a name and let's get name classical. Of course, that's a lack of better words, but we're just gonna go with that and then select personal storage. Or if you have a project, which we'll talk about projects in a second, you can select that. For now, select personal storage and click on create. It's going to then prompt you through different files that you can upload once it finishes creating that brand kit. Now you can see here, we can click on add to add all sorts of assets from your logos, your color palettes, your swatches, fonts, templates, and other assets. It's fairly straightforward to start adding your own brand kit. And I also mentioned projects. So let's head over to your stuff and go to projects. Projects are a really great way to create essentially this big collaboration hub for collaborators or your team. I have one for my team. I have some for other clients. And to create a new project, all you need to do is go to your stuff projects and then click on new project. Then you're gonna give it a name and you can even select the color that you want. Now let's say we just gave it a name and select create. Once we create that project, what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring us to a window like this. Project one, two, three. This is obviously a test project. Now what you can do is you can start adding files, all sorts of files inside this project. So if I click on create, you can see I can create a file, which is a design, create folders, create a brand, create libraries and create calendars. So what that looks like once you've actually started to build this out, it can look something like this. We have our brand kit over here, a library with some stock images, folders, our calendar and all sorts of files. What is so great about using projects is that if you're managing several clients, you can use projects as a way to divide your work instead of using your stuff hub where you have all sorts of files. This will keep things a lot more organized and structured. Plus, if you want to continually collaborate with your clients, you can create projects and then share this project with them by inviting them via email or copying the link. That way they can start collaborating with you inside projects. Did you know that you can use quick actions for several different options and one of my particular favorites is the way that you can use this to create video captions. Now, quick actions have a lot of different options. We can't cover this in this video, but I really encourage you to check them out. There's a lot of really great options, but to create a caption video, all you have to do under quick actions is go to caption video. It's gonna bring you to this window. You're gonna select that video that you want to add captions for, and depending on how long it is, it may take a little bit to process, but let me show you what that looks like once it's processed the video. I have here my process video and what is really great is that I'm not gonna play this so that you hear my voice, but I can essentially go and scrub through the timeline and it automatically uses AI to know exactly where to add these captions inside the video. And I can always go and select different options to essentially kind of create a more rounded effect. I can also click on customize colors to change the text color and the shape and I can go into custom if I know my exact hex color that I want to use I can select that now if I wanted to add more options or really edit where this is placed, I can go under open in editor and it's gonna open this particular video with the captions inside Adobe Express. And now as I go over the timeline, you can see here that the text is editable. I can double click on this text. I can now and go change some options. Once I select this text over here, it shows each of these elements. Then I can go in under shape if I wanna change it to 
one of my brand colors, I'm able to do that very easily with Adobe Express. Now let's talk about another quick action that I really like, and it's actually one of our most popular YouTube videos. It's creating your own QR code. So what I did is I went back to the quick actions and I'm gonna go now to generate QR code. Now what is really great is that you can give it a URL and then you can select different styles for that QR code. And once you find the style that you like, then click on color and you can select the colors. Now what is really great is that if you have access to Illustrator, you can actually download an SVG file. If not, you can download the PNG image and select black. And then what you'll do is once you have that image open or that QR code that you create, then you would apply a duotone to change the color so that it's not necessarily black. Now I'll give a little link to the other video that I was mentioning on our YouTube channel that shows you exactly how to do this. Now let's talk about scheduling our content. Typically, we'd have to use a third-party app to schedule our content. But with Adobe Express, you can design and schedule your content on social media. There's a couple of ways that you can do this. On the main screen or on the home page, you can go to schedule, click on schedule. And then if you don't have your connections already established, go to manage connections, click on this. And you can see here that I've already added a few connections. But if you want to add a new account, you will see something that says like TikTok, for example, click on connect. Then you'll want to add your credentials. It's going to ask you a redirect. And this is where you're gonna either add a QR code or log into that particular app. Once you're connected, then you can schedule the places that you want to add your content for. Now, what you can do is you can start by your personal content calendar, click on the plus icon and create a new post or a draft post. Now, if you're not sure what type of content to post, Adobe Express provides some really great insight on some tips and tricks or post suggestions that you can use. Now you can hover over different areas and it'll give you different options or inspiration posts. Once you're ready, you can click on new post and add the new post or the draft post like we mentioned, and you can click on, let's say, new post. Once you do that, you can upload your file. So in case you have something that is ready to go, you can upload this. But there's a faster way to do this once you're designing in Adobe Express. So let me show you how. Let's say you have a sales post that you have designed in Adobe Express and you're ready to schedule. To schedule it with Adobe Express, go over to the share button and you'll need to make sure that you've already established your connections to the social media platforms. Then click on schedule post. It's going to bring this pop-up window. It's going to take a few seconds to generate a preview of the image, then you can go in and select the channels. Now, if you have it under a type of project like I have here for my team, you can select this under that project team and select that particular connection. I will go over what this means in just a few seconds, but for now, we're gonna go to the personal calendar. If you see token needs refreshing like I am seeing here, keep in mind that every few months, we may have to refresh our token. So what you'll need to do is go over to open connections, and then what you'll do is, even though it shows that it's connected, it's telling me that it's it's going to expire in two days, so please refresh. Then what I'll do is I'll click on this and click on reconnect. And then we'll see something similar to this pop up where we need to reconfigure the connection. And I'm gonna click connect via Facebook. And now that I've refreshed the connection, I no longer see that over here. So I can go back and now essentially recheck under my personal calendar. Let's just select Instagram for now. And then I can go in and add a caption. Now what's really great is that if you're stuck as to what you want to write, you can give it a prompt sales post for a special on a trail guided experience. And then you can click on generate and you can get some help from Adobe Express using AI to generate your new caption. You can also add hashtags and other options as well. As you can see, this is really great. It adds some recommended hashtags for you that you can start using. You can click on insert and then modify it so that you can tweak it to fit your language or the way that you communicate. Then go further down and click on the calendar. You're gonna select which whichever day you wanna schedule this for. And let's say you're working on this and you're not quite sure when you're gonna post it. You might be pending on an approval date. You can save it as a draft and add draft. And then what you can do is once this saves it into your drafts, back to the calendar to find this draft and finish our edits. Now to find these drafts, you can go back to your home screen, click on schedule, and then go over to manage the filters or to filter your content. Click on draft 
apps. And then what you want to do is if you knew what channel it was for, you can select that. Otherwise, you can click on that and you'll see over here that is showing up as a draft. And I can click on that and now finish making those changes and schedule it for the actual day that I'm ready to post on. Earlier, I talked about how you can schedule through projects that you can have shared with other people using the calendar inside the project. So what I have here is my team project that I have with my team and we have a shared calendar that anyone inside this team or this project folder that we created in Adobe Express can use the calendar over here to schedule our content. Now, this will look different to the personal calendar, which I just shared with you. So if I was to click on view calendar, it's going to show me something different. Now that November 12th post, you no longer see this here because it is a different calendar. Now, what is great about this is that anyone that is a part of this team or a part of this project folder has access to this calendar. It can start scheduling to this calendar. Now you can also add different connections. So let's say we're going to use this for our LinkedIn business page. I made a connection to that particular calendar so that way we can post our content to that. So under my managed connections, you'll see that I don't have any other connected but my LinkedIn business page. So this is a really great way that you can start scheduling your content inside Adobe Express and work with Teams. To create a share calendar inside one of your project folders, you wanna make sure that you have that particular project open. So what you wanna do is go to your stuff, go to projects, and find that project that you want to add the shared calendar for. Then what you're gonna do is click on create and then create calendar. What this will do is that it's going to create a calendar where anyone who is a part of this project folder can start contributing and scheduling to. What you'll do next is go to manage connections and then you're gonna connect each individual social media account for that particular project. So if we wanted to post content for Atreas Tours Marketing, we would need to connect each individual social media account for that. And once that's done, everyone that is inside this particular project can start contributing and and scheduling for that calendar. Now here are some of the most exciting updates that were released during my time at Adobe Max. Let's start with the new import options. Now you can start from your content here and it's just going to prompt you to upload from your desktop. But what I wanna do is import from another app. So to do that, you can click on this plus icon and head over where it says import from other apps. Click on this and you'll see a new window pop up. Now what makes me extremely excited is the new addition to Adobe InDesign because I've been user for Adobe InDesign for a really, really long time. And this is perfect for anyone who is helping their clients make updates with Adobe Express without having to use InDesign because if you don't use it, it can get a little complicated. This is incredible. I'm super excited about that addition. Also upload from other apps like Canva and other ones over here and your storage app. So this is really, really great addition to import from other apps. And now resign and expand. This one is incredible because if you wanna, let's say, resize this particular graphic to a more horizontal dimension, but when you resize this, you don't want this image to just get blown up and retain a similar constraint to this. Now with expand and resize, you can actually expand the image using AI. Let me show you. We're gonna go to resize in the very top panel. And what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you enable this option, click on the little check mark and if it's not letting you do that make sure that your image is not grouped if it is grouped it's not going to allow you to expand so then what you'll do is you're going to select the dimension let's say we want to turn this into a youtube thumbnail and we're going to click on resize it's going to do its ai magic and now it gives me different options of how it expanded the image now i can select the one that i like the most i'm going to click on keep and instead of having to use the old way of resizing my content now you can see it's very small little tweaks that I can do. And now I have this beautiful horizontal image that use generative expand to resize my graphic. Let's say you wanna create animations for a sales post. Typically you would select each individual element and go to where it says animation and select the one that you wanna create. Now there's a much faster way to do this. If you go through this menu and follow the same process, you'll now see an animate all option. 
which will allow you to animate your entire design in one click. Now there's a faster way to do this is if you're on your main page here and click on animation, you'll see that same exact window, which is going to cut down time and select one of these. I want it to be popping and it's going to work its magic. And now you see with one click, I was able to create a quick animation. Whether you're a seasoned designer, dabbler, or just starting out, this course is for you. Having control of how our audio fade in and out really wasn't possible inside Adobe Express, but with the latest option and update, we can do this. So I have a reel here that I want to add some audio to. So I have my timeline open down here and I'm going to click on add audio. Then it's going to pop up a window over here on my far left for my media. You can also find this through clicking on media and then clicking on audio. I can see my audio is grouped by sound effects, acoustic backgrounds, and then also genre. Of course, voy a buscar mi música latina. I'm going to look for my Latin music and let's select Latin street loop. Let's take a listen. Perfecto. I love it. I'm going to select this and now it's going to add it to my timeline. But here's where the magic happens. Now we have the option to select a type of fade, whether it's in, out or both in and out. And I can adjust the duration. So if you wanted to have a different duration for each, you can go ahead and select the duration for out and the duration for in. But for now, I just want consistency. So I'm going to select 1.9 seconds. Let's see how that looks. Epa. I love it. That's exactly what I needed. And now you can create fade in and fade out options for your audio inside Adobe Express. One of the things that I love about working with brand kits is that we can click one button and it's going to apply our fonts, our colors, and everything we've set up for that brand kit. Remember brand kits are a part of the premium feature. So if you're using the free account, you unfortunately cannot make the best use of brand kits. So I highly recommend that you use the premium version for Adobe Express. Express, or if you have Creative Cloud, you also have that included inside your premium subscription. Now I found this template here that I found for free inside Adobe Express and I want to apply my brand. To apply the brand, I'm going to go to brands on the far left and I'm going to search for that particular brand that I want to use. I have several, so I'm going to use Atreas Tours. I'm going to select that and I see this apply brand button. But before I click on that, click on this little gear icon and make sure that you select like colors, fonts and recolor graphics. If you have several pages, you can also toggle this on but just keep in mind that when you do that, you won't be able to recolor graphics for all of those pages. Now, I just want to make sure that I'm recoloring this graphic because I'm only working with one page and I selected that. Now I'm going to click on apply brand and it's going to work its magic. And what I'm so excited about this is that you can see that it applied the brand fonts, the brand colors, but it also recolored my graphics. So that way it's on brand. So the backpack and the t-shirt now matches the brand colors to what it is now versus what we had before. This is what we had before and you can see the colors are very different to what we end up with once it recolors the graphics. If you've been enjoying this content, we have so much more. So make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss out on our latest videos, tutorials, and tips and strategies that you can use for your brand. And you may want to check out a few more videos over here.